One of our all-time favorite things to cook on the griddle or off the griddle? Wings. wings. We love doing wings any way, shape, or form. Today we're using the griddle, but only as the heat source for our deep fry. That's right, you wanna see how we deep fry these on a griddle? Stick around while we dig, dig in. in. Oh, wow. is that Are you a kidding me? So there it is in all its glory. Wonder. And I wish I could go slowly, but we don't want to give away too many of the recipes. So we want you to buy the book. There <laughs> it is. Oh my word. In order to celebrate Smashed, we are giving away 10 of the Pit Boss Soft Touch Griddle Press. It's well, not a Griddle it's a Press, smasher. it's a Smasher. This thing is Smashed. It is it's huge. We it absolutely is love it this. It feels wonderful in the hand. So if you order before May 16th, 2023 and send your order confirmation number or screenshot of your order to smashed at quarto.com. Winners will be randomly selected and the drawing will take place on May 16th, 2023. Winners will be notified via email. You must be 18 or older to enter. All entrants will automatically be included in any future pre-order giveaways for Smash but only one entry per person. But we gotta say, as excited as we are for the winners, we're also more excited for the release of Smash. So don't forget, go out and order your copy of Smashed. Smashed. All right, I have deep fried wings in a deep fryer. Right. I have air fried wings. We've actually made wings on the griddle. Several but times. Yes, but we've never deep fried in a pan on the griddle and that changes today. Right, now we held off using a, a pan on the griddle for a long time that others had done and, and we saw, but we're like, ah, we wanna be safe and careful with this. Then we realized we, we control it, we're very careful. And while it looks deep, it's not, a, it's not as much oil as you would think. We're using some small tins, but they're thin enough that they should be able to retain the heat. In fact, it's only been on for about 10 to 12 minutes and we're already over 300 degrees now. So the oil's almost up to temp. So real quick, we did cut these wings down. Now, Brett and I love to buy the wings whole. I bought them frozen before, already cut down, and they just never seem to hit the Those same way. Those are made way. with rib meat. Yeah, or whatever <laughs> it is, because I don't get it. They just don't hit the same. So I always like to buy them fresh. We get them in bulk at Sam's Club. In fact, all 40 wings here, we'll end up getting 40 wings. It's 20 large wings that we cut down. $13 for this whole thing. That's amazing. Uh, but Brett, talk about the groceries first before I get to the process. Well, here we go. We've got uh, that, well, the wings front and center. We're uh, seasoning them with our usual suspects and this really cool Aunt Carol sauce. I'll share that story in just a minute. Right, and I'm really happy and excited to do this one. So basically what we did is, is and this is how we cut the wings down. First of all, we've got our amazing Doll Strong Shogun Series Butcher Knife that Brett said this thing was cutting these wings like warm knife through Ooh, butter. butter. It was really good. So the biggest thing that you wanna do if you are cutting your own wings, it seems intimidating, not that bad. You're just gonna follow the flat side all the way down till it kind of curves in. You should get right between the knuckle is what I call the bone there and it should slice right through. If you catch the bone, don't worry, you can pull back out and go back through and eventually you start to get it as a process. It does work out and then you turn and you do the same thing. You get right between the, the flat and the little flapper out there, the little the, extra the wing. Little hanger. The, the little handle. <laughs> <laughs> and we just cut it and we do this for all of them. So we knocked that all out. That was easy peasy. Took us about seven minutes, maybe five to seven minutes. Five minutes, yeah. And we get these in the bowl. Now, typically when I'm doing wings, I lay them out on a paper towel, let them sit for a minute, and then I take another paper towel, really dry them off. Brett was saying he never dries his wings off. Uh, now we're gonna be very careful, obviously, going into the deep fryer because we're gonna have a little bit of moisture, but we're gonna really make sure these are seasoned up. As Brett likes to always say, when he uses the usual suspects, Brett, what do you always say when you pour it in? I put right, I shake to where I think that's enough, and then I add just a little more after right. that. Which is what he did, and then we, we mixed them, mixed them, mixed them. He's got a dry hand, obviously, and a wing hand. That's and then right. Once he was done mixing those, we see we need a little bit more. We add that, and now these are sitting, ready to go. Brett, let's get to the griddle and fire this up. Let's see how, they're not fired, it's already fired yeah, up. It is fired up. Let's get this cook fired up. Here we go. All right, so here we are. We're actually shifting these over. We were, were, we were more concerned about whether or not this would get to temp. It's like gotten over temp at this point. So these are super hot. We're gonna let them cool down just a bit. We're pushing closer to 400, about 380, 390. So we pulled it into a cooler zone and we're gonna get these down. We're gonna try to bring it down lower. So when we're closer to 3, 350, we'll go ahead and get the wings going. Got it down to about the 370, 375 range. Now, we're gonna go ahead and do a tester wing only because putting the cool wing in will lower the temperature of the oil, and then we'll watch and see how it goes. Look at that fry up. Ooh, doggy. Right, you may as well do a batch. I'd throw a couple right. of them in. There we go. 
There we go. Fill that up because that'll lower, that'll continue to lower. As long as we're bubbling and boiling, we're cooking. There we go. That's all, all we're right. going to leave. Brett, what was the general key? So at this temperature, we're going to leave them into five to seven minutes? Five to seven minutes, we're, we're going to pull them. Yep. All right. We'll pull them and we'll temp them and we'll see. This side is definitely hotter. Yes. So we're definitely going to keep our eye on this side of here. There we go. One more. That's it. There you All go. Right. This side was obviously fuller. Yep. Oh, and it's also angled down this way a little bit too. So we'll lose a little bit of the oil. So we'll just keep an eye on it. All right. So we'll let those go for five to seven minutes. It smells really good though. It smells like wings. All right. About four minutes in and this side was hotter. So these are a little bit more golden brown deliciouser. <laughs> these ones are coming up though. And uh, so we'll just monitor. So the idea with this is we're going to check the internal temp. So it'll take as quick or as little or, or as much, much time as needed. So we're just gonna keep watching them and we're gonna end up with some nice crispy golden wings. GBD, baby. Just Brett, it's been six minutes. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our big suckers, we're gonna pull it out and then I wanna temp this really quickly with a probe. Yeah, Brett, it can go, it's 148, 145. All right, so we're actually gonna put that back in. Good, we can go another two, three minutes on that. Okay. Perfect, now I put maybe we'll put, we got a flapper in there, a flat rather. This is on the cooler side, so I don't yes. think this is gonna come No, nope, this isn't all. quite there. Okay, so that wing is about 165, but we like to get them a little bit hotter. So we're gonna go, Brett, probably closer to 180. There we go. All right, so we went ahead and turned these because as we lowered the temperature, the middle of the griddle was taking longer to come up to temp. This is nice and toasty. So these ones actually finished first. We, we temp this one. It is at 183 internal. That is perfect. So we're going to go ahead and start pulling these ones. And then we'll temp, we we'll temp each one as we pull them out and put them back as needed. But otherwise, they're good to go. What are we reading? 174. 184. There we go. All right, so we'll get more wings going and we're just gonna continue this process. process. All right, so Brett, go ahead and get more wings for that one. Th these ones for sure I can tell just by looking at the color. You get used to doing it. You know when they start to look golden brown delicious like those, they're good to go. Those ones still well, actually you wanna make sure. Yep, oil's still good. Yep, 350. 353. Yeah, when you're doing wings, you wanna make sure that the oil comes back to temp after pulling because it, it will cool. It lower, yeah, it cools just a little bit. All right, let's see if we can get five wings in there. We're watching the edges. We don't want this to boil over. We're controlling the boiling oil. Let's one go more. one more. Is that four? Yep. Okay, good. Oh, one more small one. Yep, there we go. There we go. And it didn't impact it, so we're good to go. And Brett, look, those are looking great too. All right, we'll continue this process until we got all our wings done and we'll uh, pull them and we'll taste them. I like it. All right, so we're getting ready to do the last batch. We did not let the, the the oil come up to temp on one of the batches, so it's taken a little bit longer. Also, we didn't have extra oil. We wanted to line up this whole griddle with a bunch of pans full, but we were able to fill two and that is it. So right. one thing to consider when you're doing wings, they're always best served hot. So we're gonna try to get these ones fed, uh, feeding the masses quickly. Uh, we may toss them back in for just a minute to crisp them back up, but yep. otherwise, Brett, these have been holding the temp. These are doing good, man. Yep. We get all the rest in here. All right, Brett, so wings are just about done. I know we've got some we're gonna toss in sauce, but we've got some back in there, what for? Some of them took a little longer to come up uh, to temp, and so they, they ended up being a little rubbery, but if you put them in and you t twice fry them, they're gonna crisp right up. Yeah, so these are super crispy. So we've got all these crispy ready to go. So Brett's gonna take like five or six of them and we're gonna toss them in this awesome sauce. I'm gonna that sauce nice. them up real quick and we're gonna try them. Now this sauce right here, yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, uh, a young man by the name of Tajir Lewis, I just met him the other night at a food fest that the radio station was a part of, and uh, he was introduced to me by a radio buddy. He says you've got to listen to his story. Uh, aunt Carol is Lewis's aunt, and she always had the family over, and she would uh, lay out on the table newspaper and a bunch of blue crab, and she always had her special sauce. He was getting ready to go to college, and he said, hey, Aunt Carol, uh, where can I buy that sauce? I can't imagine being away at college and not being able to eat it. And she said, uh, Tajir, I make the sauce myself. Gave him the recipe, and he said that when he graduated college, he was going to make it and sell it. I hope I'm, I'm telling the story correctly, and I want to get it right because it's so amazing. Sadly, Aunt Carol passed uh, from cancer, I believe in his sophomore year, and that's when he decided to make it his mission, and he wants to change the world with her uh, amazing recipe. So I'm so excited. He said it goes on anything. I said wings. He said wings. I said, we're cooking this weekend. I'm gonna take away. He actually gave me this bottle, and uh, we're gonna try it with these wings. So Tajir, we hope we do you some justice, buddy. We'll have the information in the link down below of this stuff. So uh, here we go. I'm excited for it. A little bit of sauce goes a long way. You or a lot of sauce goes. I was just gonna say a lot of sauce also goes a long way, Brett. 
Oh, it oh, smells so it good. Smells really and it does. Good. It's got that kick of um, like a, a seafood cocktail, cocktail sauce. sauce yeah. But like you said, with buffalo sauce and look at those nice coating. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna test these wings and also just the regular wings and let you know our thoughts. Yep. All right, Brett, let's get ready to eat. Here we go. There they are. In all their glory. In all their glory. And I, we've got this massive plate. This is gonna go feed the family. We've got the sauced ones right here. <laughs> Can't wait to the try smell those. Smell is just coming right up my nostrils, and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm excited for that one. Let's try the plain ones first. Okay, all right. Flapper or flat, if you will. I'll try one of the drums. Okay. Man, but like we say, it can look amazing. Uh, these look absolutely amazing. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Yes, they smell Love amazing. This. We make the best wings, usually usual we suspect. Just a... Change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't taste amazing though, then this was all oh, for not. Cheers. I'll eat to that. Oh, wait. Can I get a smell, yeah? Oh, smell, oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you <laughs> if it doesn't taste, taste amazing, amazing, then this is all, all for not. not. Cheers. I'll eat to that. My, my brother, this is going to be hot. I can't tell. Oh yeah, That's this one been sitting a little bit mm. <laughs> too hot. Oh, yep. <laughs> Gotta wait on that one. It's too hot to eat. This one literally just came out of the. Out now of the, uh, we will always say hot wings fresh are the best way to do always, them. Always. This always. one's been sitting just a little bit. It's still spectacular. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's amazing. Hot fresh wings are the best. Mm. So. Oh. That's the tip if you do it this way. If you're gonna do it in batches, make sure as you're doing batches, people are eating. Eat the hot wings. Wait, wait, wait till they're cool enough to eat. Uh huh. Yeah. Just perfect. Because obviously, like anything, they sit a little bit. They're not gonna be as good. I don't like leftover wings, but man, these are good. And they're not gonna be left any leftover. These the kids are gonna eat these all up. Correct. But I want to try that sauce. So these ones are hot. I'm gonna try to flap around this one because right. you know I had the uh, flap the, I'll do the drum. One. All right, man. Cheers. I'll eat to that, my brother. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's incredible sauce, man. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it has a little bit of nope. Um uh, like a cocktail sauce. Like a tomato, tomato base. Um but uh, just that very, very mild, mild heat. Yeah, I would definitely do mm. this with some like cocktail shrimp or even some popcorn shrimp. shrimp. Uh doing this mm. with shrimp for sure. This is so good. Mm. And great on the wings too. This is such a good sauce. Shout out to you again. The information for the sauce and to your story is down below. It's hard to make an all-purpose sauce mm -hmm. that works this well. That is so mm. good. All right, ah, well, man. you know, the winds are picking up. It's a windy day. We had a stormy day yesterday. So we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. This ah. was so good. We love coming and getting to do cooks like this. Took us a little bit longer. The key is always to make sure your oil gets back up to 350 degrees yep. and controlling that temp. So we recommend having a temp gun or something to help you know what the temperature of the oil is yep. to keep it good. But you saw relatively safe, easy process. The oil didn't splatter up at us ever. Yep. Uh, and so just really being careful with that. The two sets of tongs, obviously. Yeah, so making sure it's at 350 uh, is key to that. Or 350, it can even go higher than that because the shorter it cooks, the better. It is gonna cook through. It gets hot enough before it crisps too much on the outside. Letting it sit too long, like one of our batches, it got a little rubbery. That's why we threw them back in. Yep. But guess what? It crisped them right back up, and they're great. And only so, like maybe a minute and a half to two minutes. Right. Well, the family's waiting to eat. So we all better right, wrap go. this up. Aside from coming to knock out bangers like this, why else do we do all of this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. With that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And grit along. along.